quizzes and tests. In Storyline, you can build a quiz or a test. They're the same thing, just people have different names for them. I like to use templates for quizzes, as someone's already done the hard work. So this is what I'll do. I'll add in a template for a quiz. So I will go to Content Library, go to Quizzing, and I'll choose this option here. Insert slide. You'll be presented with this layout. You can see it looks a little bit different to what we're used to. That's because we're in the form view. To move back to the slide view, simply click on that button. But we'll go to the form view. You'll only see the option for form view on the quiz screens. So this is the question at the top. So you enter a question and change it to whatever you want. And then you've got your choices here. So all you've got to do is put your answers in. So let's give you a choice. So the question is, what's the best cake? There you go, chocolate, vanilla, mint. I don't know if you can buy mint cakes or orange. There we go. There are the answers. So you can see how easy it was for me to do that. If I want to add in another one, just type it in there. Then I must choose which is the correct answer. So is it vanilla, mint, orange, banana? Okay. So in this one there, we're going to say that banana is the best cake. And if you pick any of the other ones, you're going to be wrong. You've got feedback down the bottom. So correct is that's right. You've selected the correct response. Incorrect and try again. If you click on more, you can add in or you can edit this further. You can change the styling of it. You can put a link. There's lots of things you can do on this. Make changes, press OK. You've got points as well. I tend to not use the points. However, you can apply points to this. And then once you've done it, go to slide view. I'll look at these different layers. So you've got the correct layer, incorrect, try again. And again, you can make changes to these. To make changes to these, you've got the Feedback Master up here. So if you want to make changes, you've got to go to Edit, and then to make the changes on the Master Slides. Alternatively, you could just go into the Master View from along the top, which is under View, Slide Master, or in this case, Feedback Master. I'm going to show you how to add in a quiz without using a template. So here we have a slide which is pretty much blank. Go to slides along the top and then you've got a couple of options. You've got a graded question or survey question. A graded question, these are form-based questions where you set a correct answer and can assign points to your computer score. In other words, they're the quiz questions. Survey questions, these are form-based questions that have no correct answer and can be used to collect responses. So using that cake example, it will be, you know, what's your favourite cake? That will be a survey. Whereas a graded question will be something more technical, like what is the capital of England, of which the answer is London. Then you have freeform questions. Freeform questions let you turn ordinary slide objects, like pictures, shapes, characters, text boxes and markers, into engaging interactions. Now, I don't ever use these, so I'm not going to go into that. What we are going to do though, to do a graded question, click on the graded question button, and then you've got the choices here. So you have all of these different choices. You've got these templates already set up that we've been doing, but you've got these ones here. You've got true and false, multiple choice, multiple responses, fill in the blank, word bank, matching a drag and drop, matching drop down, sequence drag and drop, sequence drop down, numeric and hotspot. So pick whichever one's relevant to you. Click on insert slide. The form view comes up. Put in your question. True and false. You can change that though. So it doesn't have to be true and false. It could be right and wrong or it could be anything you wanted. But it's only giving you two options. That's the whole thing of a true and false. Once you've done it, go to slide view. 
And what it does, it actually creates a whole new slide with the layers for correct and incorrect. Then you'd have to apply your backdrops to it or any template that you're using. Something to notice with the quizzes is that even though I created a new page to begin with and then I went and inserted the quiz, it created a whole separate page for the quiz question. So I'm then left with this page that I don't want to use anymore. So just delete the page that you don't want, press yes to it. I'll press no just because I want to keep it. And then on the page that has been created, make sure you apply the styles that you've been using throughout the rest of the course. And the best way to do that is to right click on the slide on the left hand side, apply layout and pick the layout that you've been using in the rest of the course.